Welcome back everybody to another video. In today's video, I'll be going over my top 15 Lego sets on my Christmas list for 2019. And uh, yeah, a quick disclaimer, I don't plan on getting all 15 of these sets. I know it's kind of unlikely and just not possible. It'd be thousands of dollars, but there's a couple cheaper sets on here, a couple more expensive sets. And in general, if I had to you know, just kind of give a list to whoever um, you know, to pick from, this would pretty much be the list. Um, these are pretty much my top sets right now that I want in my collection really bad. So, uh, yeah, there's not going to be too many 2020 sets on here since, again, they're, they're not going to come out before Christmas, more than likely. But here's three of them. Uh, so I, I guess I'll just go over them really quick. Uh, the first one being the 75269, the Duel on Mustafar, the 2021 uh, for 20 bucks. you know, the one that got leaked, the Star Wars one. Uh, pretty much self-explanatory, favorite scene and favorite uh, movie of the Star Wars trilogy. Anakin's my favorite character. Obi-Wan's a close, like, second or third. So... That pretty much explains that. And for 20 bucks or, you know, 16 bucks that I'll probably get it for. Can't go wrong. Next one being the 76899, the 2020 uh, Lamborghini uh, Urus and the uh, the other Lamborghini um, car, you know, the new Speed Champions one. Uh, not something I want to grab for that price. Again, whoever gets it for me or if I buy it myself, I want to get it for at least probably 30% off, 30, 40% off. But definitely high up on the list to get. And then moving on to number 13, guys, set number 75267, the Mandalorian Battle Pack. And this is the new 2020 uh, Lego Star Wars set they got revealed. Um, this is a pretty self-explanatory one just to at least get one of. I don't plan on getting much more than one. I'll probably keep one sealed and build one. Kind of my plans with that one. But again, maybe wait for a little bit of a discount. And then let's move on to the uh, next one, guys. It has to be 21318, the Treehouse. This is a Lego Ideas creator, expert, not creator expert, but you know, the Lego Ideas set that came out earlier this year. And uh, $200, uh, I, I kind of explained this in another video, but my dad and I built a tree, or my dad built a treehouse for me when I was young. And you know, I would always hang out like in the treehouse in the backyard with my friends. So, I mean, I'm a fan of treehouses. I like watching that treehouse master too on Animal Planet. Um, so, uh, you know, that kind of explains that for 200 bucks. I think it's a pretty good deal. I think it's gonna be a very nice display piece. Next one, guys, has to be another little small set here, the 75895, the Porsche uh, Speed Champions one, the uh, the more recent one. I feel like this is going to be a good set to kind of, I know it's not the exact same Porsche, you know, model, but uh, to throw kind of a miniature Porsche next to the Technic Porsche when I do end up building that, which, shout out to my dad, he did uh, completely tear that apart as I'm filming this, um, he, he already did, so I should be getting to build that pretty soon here, hopefully by the end of the year, um, you know, kind of build that Porsche. Moving on to the next one, guys, this be be uh, 42093, the Corvette ZR1 Technic set. I know I've roasted this set in the past, you know, saying it doesn't really look like a Corvette. I mean, if it was just an average person, they probably wouldn't be able to tell you it's a Corvette. But to kind of just stay in line with the whole fact of I want to get most of these Technic cars, um, you know, I eventually want to get the Corvette. And if it were to be a gift or something, I wouldn't complain. Or if I were to find it for like 30 bucks or under, I feel like the second hit's like $29.99. I'll probably purchase it since I think at that point it's worth it. Um, you know, even if it doesn't really look like, look, look like a Corvette. Moving on to the next one, guys. Has to be set number seven five two zero eight, the Yoda's Hut. And I was very close to buying this the other day, and I might still buy it after this. I might even ask my dad, like, hey, just count it towards Christmas. Um, it's on Amazon right now for like eighteen ninety nine or like nineteen nineteen or something like that. Um, or actually, no, it was on Target for that price. And actually, now that I think about it, I think it was a one-day sale. So probably not on there anymore, but uh, that's about 38% off, 37% off. So a pretty good deal there. I should have picked one up since I kind of want it for my steel collection. I feel like it's a set that would go up in value. So there's that. Then the next one has to be the uh, set number 75243, the 20th anniversary slave one. I've gone over this one in previous videos. Pretty much just the reasoning behind this is it is the last uh, 20th anniversary set that I need. Not including the employee gift one that, I mean, I might eventually get. Who knows? I mean, if the price kind of flatlines around like 150, 200 bucks, which I doubt it. But if I can get it for like that price, I'll probably pick it up at some point. Um, you know, if someone offers me that price, I'll probably, you know, you know, snag it up, but pretty much aside for that, uh, you know, the, the 20th anniversary slave one, the X wing and the Obi-Wan Kenobi, which I'll be getting the Obi-Wan Kenobi by the end of December. So th at that point I'll have all the 20th anniversary sets, which I'm pretty excited for. And then the next one has to be the seven, five, two, five, four, the ATST Raider from the Mandalorian. 
And as I'm filming this, it was an episode four only so far, but it was definitely a very nice, you know, addition to that episode. It was a nice, you know, refreshing thing to see. And, uh, you know, it's pretty accurate. I wish they would have done the red eyes a little bit better on the, uh, on the actual Lego set, but probably didn't want to spoil it, I guess. But, uh, one of these sets that I'm going to definitely get this Christmas, uh, just for, you know, I'm a big fan of the Mandalorian. Just watch episode five. Episode five was decent, not too good, not too bad. Um, but the ATST Raider, it's definitely one I want to get. I mean, and build it right away. You know, the the build's nice. The Mandalorian minifigure I want to grab. So there's pretty much of that. Moving on to the top, let's see, six right here. And these are all getting into some pretty big ones. And again, this is in really no order. I'll be honest. I forgot to say this at the beginning of the video. There's really no order to any of these. I'm kind of just naming them off, you know, as I'm going. But number six has to be the 10212, the UCS Imperial Shuttle. And without repeating myself too much, again, I've mentioned this in previous videos, it's pretty much my number one LEGO Star Wars set that I want. You know, all, all together, it's my number one LEGO Star Wars set. I'm a big fan of it. I think it's going to look awesome on display. Can't wait to eventually get in and build it. I should have got it a couple years ago and it was cheaper. Nowadays, it's going for like 500 bucks, like all day, which is, you know, again, quite a lot of money. But hopefully, I can eventually find the means to get it. But... There's that one. Moving on to the 8653. This is an old one, the oldest one on this list, and it is the Enzo Ferrari uh, Technic set. This is from, I think, 2003 or 2005, I think back then. And it's pretty much just the equivalent to kind of how like the, the Porsches and the Bugatti are now, you know, in Technic form. You know, pretty much the equivalent to, you know, some of those sets, but back in the day. And again, I was meaning to get this a couple of years ago, like in 2017, and I think it was going for like 250 for an, uh, for a used one, and now it's going for like seven or eight hundred dollars for a used one, which probably never going to get that unless I find it for a deal at like a garage sale or something like that. But it's definitely still on my list to at least say it's on my list, you know, since I would like to get it to eventually go with you know all these other bigger Technic cars I'm getting, and. Uh, yeah, there's that one. And then moving on, you guys probably have a rough idea of what's going to be in these top four, at least a couple of these. And the next one has to be the 42083, the Bugatti Chiron. And pretty much another self-explanatory thing. I just, I want to eventually get all the Technic cars. I think they're all dope. I'm a big car guy lately. Um, you know, I have been for like two or three years now. Um, of course, I want to get a, a Mustang or a uh, Corvette eventually as like kind of like a base you know, car until, you know, if I ever become rich, I guess. But of course I would like to, you know, get that. So, uh, you know, all these Lego sets, you know, are very nice display pieces in my opinion and uh, can't wait to get it. So then of course, following up with that has to be the 42056, the uh, Porsche 911 uh, GT3, I think. I think that's what it is, GTRS. I'm not sure. Well, whatever the orange one is offhand and uh, another self-explanatory one, pretty much the same reason as the Bugatti. And they're both still on you know, shelves for regular price. And I just, I would like to get a discount on them. You know, I would like to get them for at least a little bit of something off. I know the Bugatti in other, in like the UK has had some pretty good sales, but the shipping would kill it, you know, shipping to the United States. So there's pretty much that. Moving on to the top two guys. Again, no particular order. I mean, these two aren't necessarily my top two, but I think they're the most reasonable for me to get sooner out of all the big sets here. But the next one has to be the 75810, the Stranger Things Upside Down House. Big fan of Stranger Things, huge fan of it. I remember I watched the first season, you know, straight through, second season pretty much straight through, third season it took me like two days, and uh, yeah, I'm, I'm very excited they made one set of it. I think it's going to look awesome. Again, another set I would build. That's the thing, a lot of these sets I would build. I guess I have like what, two of them, like the, uh, the Slave One and the, uh, actually just the Slave One, that's the only one I'd keep. Uh, seal and the Yoda's hut, I guess. But other than that, Stranger Things house definitely my number two. And then number one, again, not necessarily my number one. Is in like I want to get this tomorrow. You know, if someone offered me one of these, but it has to be the seven six zero two three, the Batman Tumblr from twenty fourteen. Big fan of the Dark Knight Rises. Huge fan of it. I have the Dark Knight Rises set sealed still. And the Batman Tumblr, I think, is a dope set. I think the vehicle's incredible. I would love to get one in person and drive it around. Not going to happen ever, but the Lego set will have to, you know, I guess hold me over. But there's pretty much that, guys. My list, my top 15 sets. If you guys have any uh, list, you know, of yourself, leave them down below. What's your top couple sets you want around the Christmas time, you know, around the holiday uh, time. But, uh, yeah, if you guys want any Christmas ideas for me, hint, hint. 
Uh, here's a, a top 15 list of them. But if you guys all want to come together as a as a fan base and grab me even like a Mandalorian battle pack, it'd be be appreciated, guys. But uh, yeah, all jokes aside, I thank you guys all for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Stay tuned for see you guys later. Five percent off on your next Lego purchase. Be sure to use code LifeBrick. Uh, that's capital L I F E Brick at republicbricks.com for 5% off your next order. We'll pretty much pay for your shipping or get you a couple dollars off. They sell old Lego minifigures, sets, mystery boxes, and more. I've got a couple of videos on my channel uh, showing the products, uh, so be sure to use code LIFEBRICK on your next order for 5% uh, for off.